welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I was trying to get my hair looking good for this video and of course it's curly hair so I had to wet it and of course I did it in the shirt I wanted to wear and it doesn't look like it's gonna dry because I waited like 10 minutes. So first I'm gonna go change my shirt. So today as you see in the title I'm going to show you guys the thing that's been everywhere the iOS 14 update and how I did my home screen so I did mine like last week like I think I did it the night it came out actually I'm going to have like different time frames here just so you guys see like what you want to see because there is like different things that I did that you guys might want to see how I did them parts where I did the widgets how I customized my apps and all that so you guys want to see a specific time frame just look here and go to that one so we're going to scoot over and put my screen right here. We're gonna click screen record. So here's my home screen. I did the middle two already. This is how I did it and I saved the last one right here to show you guys how I did it. Now the first one with the, all the original apps from Apple, I was going to change them at the same time. It wasn't really that important to me. I might end up changing it later on, but for now, I just decided to leave it like that. So the middle two right here, is the ones that I've already done and today I'm going to show you guys how to do the exact same thing for this slide right here. So you guys have probably seen examples of people doing it like this. But I personally don't like bright colors so I just wanted to keep it neutral. I usually just like black, white, gray. As you guys can see by my room like it's really just black and gray. My accessories are black so I just didn't like the color combinations because to me I just don't like bright colors. Basically this slide right here is my music. At the top I have my top four favorite rappers and at the bottom I have this big thing of like It's basically my calm playlist versus like my lip playlist because those are two playlists I listen to the most and these are the people on the playlist so I just decided to do that So at the one on the top I just have pictures of people and at the one at the bottom I have like album covers from my favorite artists. The top right you guys see Spotify, SoundCloud, Music, and Musi. Now Musi doesn't look like that but I replaced it with that picture. So this is basically my music because I'm always listening to music. I use my music apps way more than my other apps. Now for the second one right here it's basically school. So. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, these apps, if you guys use it, but I basically have Outlook, Scan Me, which is Adobe, Adobe Scan, but I changed the name and the look. I have Microsoft Teams, Fonts, Blackboard, Files, Translate, Remind, GroupMe, Google Classroom, Math, and Quizlet. And at the bottom right here, I have this collage. Basically, the little word at the top says perfection, and it crosses it out and puts process. And at the bottom it says work on you for you and it has like two black successful women because to me I put this here because it's my school apps and we're going to school to form our future and that's just and that's how I want to be in the future very very successful so I just thought I could use that one and at the top surprisingly right now I don't have any notes because this week just finished so I finished everything that I needed to do but if you guys actually no, it's not notes it's reminders so if you guys go to reminders right here, all of my school reminders that I had this week are gone. That's why there's actually nothing. But if I were to go change it, hold on. So now that I just changed it, usually I have it to where I only see reminders that's in the last week, but I just changed it to all reminders. So these are the reminders that I have right now coming up in the future. So. You can also edit, I'm going to show you guys how you can edit what notes you can see. I have this here because even though I use notes, reminders, like sometimes I tend to forget stuff. And when I'm on my home screen, it's just right there. So it's really, really useful. And I did like this chalk theme because it's like, you're like writing on chalk school, if that makes sense. So I just thought it was cute. And at the beginning, I, own, I have this moon and I have the days of the week. Now, a lot of people have this right here, which is the Widget Smith, I believe. Widget Smith, color, no, it was it's color widgets, which for me, you're not going to need the app. I didn't use color widgets. Color widgets, I think, isn't it? I, I've been looking at tutorials and I think color widgets is basically just showing the day and the time. And you could also like replace the picture in the back. But to me, that didn't make sense because if you look here, look on your home screen, you see the time and you see the day and you see the month 
and everything. So to me, it just didn't make sense if I could just unlock my phone and it's already right there. So what I did was I added a calendar. Like sometime you're, you're trying to see, oh, what day will the 27th be? So that's why I added a whole calendar to know which day is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Because if I just added one with the day and time, like I already have that on my home screen. So I was just like, it just didn't make sense to me to add it. You guys with this page, I didn't do anything to it. I might end up doing it later on, but at the same time, these apps, I just don't really care for them. So I just left them like that, but I might change it. I never know. So first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to actually make the collages. Now with this one, like I see a lot of people just put one picture, but to me, like I wanted to add multiple pictures. So to add the collages, it's basically easy. You're just making a collage and you're saving it to your phone and you're saving it as a picture into the widget. So it seems like you made a collage like through the widget app, but you're just uploading a picture which you can just make a collage with. The need for this is just Google and you're going to need PixArt. For me, I actually use Pinterest. You could also use Pinterest and what I typed in was my favorite rappers. I just saved pictures of them. So I just search it up. You could search it up on Google, Pinterest, whatever you want. Whatever picture you want, you can just search it up. It doesn't have to be of a rapper. I just did rappers. On my home screen album right here, I already have those pictures saved. So I have Gunna, Kodak, the Uzi, all my favorite rappers, Travis Scott. And I also have my other one for my other collage, which I already made, but I'm going to show you guys again. So what you're going to do once you save all your pictures to your phone, you're going to go into PixArt and you're going to select which ones that you want. Now for me, they're already selected because I did, the, the, did it the other day, but I'm going to show you guys once again. So you're just going to go into click grids where it says collages and you're going to select the pictures that you want. So I'm going to do it one more time just to show you guys. So I'm going to do Gunna, Lil Uzi, Kodak, and Travis Scott. Then you they have all these different ones. The ones that are basically square is basically what's gonna fit like if you choose if you guys choose these at the end it's not really gonna fit because the widgets aren't really like rectangular they're just square so you guys could pick any of these i just picked the ones that have the three lines going down so then you're just going to edit it you could add text on it you can just leave it plain so what i'm going to do is just adjust them where i want it now for me i didn't want the border so I just click where it says background, border, and I close it up. So you guys, like I said, you guys can just add a text over or anything. Now, if you guys see right here, I have, at the beginning I did black, but if you guys see like it kind of has like a white filter over it, what I did basically to just get, you could just leave it like that, but I wanted it to match the aesthetic. So after you make the collage, you can just go where it says add photo. You can search up images and all I clicked was white plain background and you could just click it add and all you have to do is just stretch it out to cover the whole thing so after you so after you cover it so after you cover it obviously it's going to be like all plain but you don't want to you actually want to see your images so where it says opacity you're just going to lower that down now for me I'd probably do like 50 because I still want to see the images in the back. I just want to have like that white background to it. So after I do this, you could just click this download button at the top or you could just click next and save it to your album. So that's the first one that I did. Now with my other one, I did the exact same thing. I just saved the album cover that I wanted. Okay, so I think I deleted the other two, but you're basically going to do the same thing. Put what images you want. Click the collage that you want, shorten the shorten the borders, then you're going to click next, add picture. I did the same thing. I added white, white plain, and you're basically going to save it and do the same thing that I told you guys before, and you're going to save it to your phone. Download the app Widget Smith. You open Widget Smith. So you guys are going to want to add small widget. I made mine's a small widget for the little one. So you just click on it default widget and basically you can edit it however you want to now when you want to add an image you're going to scroll where it says custom you're going to click photo select photo go to your albums go to wherever you save the picture go to wherever you save the picture then you're going to basically add that picture as it so after you add that you just click back and click save 
So after you guys make the collage, you guys are basically gonna go to your home screen, select edit, select one of your apps, click edit home screen, then you're gonna see everything shaking. Then you're gonna click the plus at the top and scroll all the way down to where it says widget smith. Then you're going to select which one that you chose. You made it a small one, so you're gonna click add widget. Now after that, you're just going to click on it it's going to say widget number whatever so you're just going to click on that and you're going to select the one that you have now i made mine this hundred sign so all you have to do is click on it and your widget already shows up now i already have one so i'm just going to take that off but you guys will just leave it and i arrange my music apps to be right on top of it now i'm going to show you guys how to add the notes so all you have to do is just go into widget smith go to where it says add medium widget click on it you're going to click default widget was where you edit it now you can make this anything that you want they have time they have month slash day they have pictures like i showed you guys before they have calendar outlook you could also make it to where you put your reminders right next to it next to the calendar but they're gonna have where it says reminders so you're gonna click on reminders you're gonna make it now where it says list you can it just checks reminders where it says filters this is what i showed you guys earlier mine i usually have it to where it says only that week but you can click all reminders it'll show you all of your reminders it could show you ones that's due in less than 24 hours 48 hours or even next week so right now i have it put on all reminders so i can just see everything because this week i don't have anything due but you guys can just put whatever you want you can edit the font however you want i have mine as a chalkboard as i showed you guys before you can change the color the background color or the border color so after you do that you're just going to go back to where it says medium widget then you're going to save that so you're going to do the same thing as i showed you guys before you're just going to hold on your screen click edit home screen click the add button scroll all the way down to where it says widget smith click now you're going to go to medium now you're going to click add medium widget and then it's probably going to add like a random one if it's not yours all you have to do is just click on it click on the widget and change the one you want and there it is right there and all you have to click is done and since i already have mine i'm just gonna already i'm just gonna take this one off and this is everything oh, this is how yours should look the next thing i'm going to show you guys is how to actually make your apps look all different now i saved this last page to show you guys now this is probably going to be a little bit more complicated now some of the flaws to this effect when you guys click on the files it goes through this shortcut app then it takes you to the app which is so annoying but it's not that bad because it only takes like one second that's the only thing that annoys me so i'm editing all of these apps on this one page so first thing i did you're going to want to click the background that you want of the picture so if you guys look here if you guys look close and pay attention mine is not really a white background it's basically like a marble background because i wanted mine's marble so what you're going to do is just go on google type in the background that you want put marble background click that go to where it says images save the image to your home screen i already have mine saved in my album as you guys can see here so i selected this one so now you're going to want to use pixar again but before you do that you're going to go back to google and what you're going to do now a lot of these apps might not have every single color you want i just use black because it's a common color and i wanted mine to be black so i just went to safari and so i just went to google now let's look at the first app the first app that i have here is whatpad so i would just go on google and type in whatpad black icon oh i put eye on first of all i didn't even spell that right that's embarrassing whatpad black icon now you're going to click search go to images and as you guys can see here, I want mine's black and the fourth one right here is how I want it. So I would just click save and add photos. So you're going to do that with each app that you have. I wanted to show you guys one more, Gmail. So you're going to click Gmail black icon. Search that up. They have a bunch of them right here and you would just save that. I also forgot to tell you guys, you have to change your back, your actual home screen background. I changed mine to black. You can see I've already done it with all my apps. I did it with Wattpad, Gmail, Amazon, Instagram, Pinch, Fix, Art, Life, Contacts, WhatsApp. I did it with all of these. Now it's not common you guys are going to find like an orange icon. Maybe you can, or you guys can even make it. Or you guys can even make your own color icon. I don't think it's that hard. So you're going to go back to Pixart, then you're going to click 
select more photos, go to your album, click the ones that you want. So I'm going to add all of these because these are the ones that I'm going to add. Oh, selected too much. Are these all of them? As you guys can see here, these are the icons that I already did. Oh, phone's dying. So as you guys can see, these are the apps that I already did before, but I'm going to show you guys what I did now. So you're going to select all the icons that you want and click done. So after that, click on the plus, all the photos that you're going to use, then you're going to open the background that you're going to be using. So after that, you have the background. So what you're going to do is just add the apps that you want. You could do it one by one, but I chose to do mine all at the same time because it's really not that hard. So this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to add all the apps. So it only lets you add 10, which isn't bad. So I have all these images here and a lot of them, as you can see, aren't transparent, but I'm going to show you guys how to blend it in. I'm going to arrange them to make it small enough because obviously these are way too big. Okay, so I've made them all a pretty good size. It might look really small right now, but don't mind that. So as you can see here, some of the pictures like have a, like this Pinterest icon, it was already transparent, so it kind of blends in with the marble. Now these other ones have like a white background. So what you're going to do to blend it, a lot of images should work on this, it should. So you're going to click on the picture and when it's where it says blend right next to capacity, you're going to click blend. Now you can try different ones, usually the multiply works for me. So look at the back of the Instagram icon. So when I click it to multiply, it kind of blend, it blends in, all the white goes away. So you're going to want to do this with each app because you want it to obviously blend. So that's what we're going to do here. So just click on the image, click blend, click multiply, and it should blend in. Okay, so I've done all the pictures. Now what you guys are going to do is just click apply. Now you guys are going to want to be careful. Don't click apply until you've made everything how you want it because if you do click apply before, you're gonna have to start over because I don't think you can go back unless you have to start all over. So after you do that, so you can just click download. So I'm going to click download, but actually what I prefer to do, it does, I actually prefer to zoom in on the picture and just take a screenshot. Now you might think the quality is going to mess up, but it's just a screenshot and it's going on an app. It's not like it's an actual picture you're going to be saving. So I just like to leave it like this. Use, a re use the whole picture when you're making the apps, but me, I just prefer to leave it like that. So after you do that, you're going to leave Pin PixArt. Now you're going to go to the app called Shortcuts. So Shortcuts come with Apple. If, not, you could, if it's not on your phone, you could just go ahead and download from the App Store. So you're in shortcuts. Now what you're going to want to do is click the add button, click, click action where it says scripting at the top with the X icon. You're going to click that, click where it says open app. Then where it says open choose, you're going to click where it says choose. Now these are all your apps that you have on your phone. These are all your apps. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the apps that you're basically changing. So the first app that was in the corner was Wattpad. So I'm going to go where it says W. So I'm going to go where it says W and I'm going to click Wattpad. You select Wattpad and basically you're not going to click next. You're going to click the three dots that's in the corner. So click the three dots that's in the corner. Now where it says shortcut name, you're going to change the name of the app that you want. Now you could just leave it, but I like changing this app called fonts on my phone, which gives me different fonts for different apps. So I'm going to click on it and just click right here. And I have all these different fonts on my keyboard. If you guys want this app, it's called fonts. It's on Apple. It's in the Apple store. So all of my other apps I did with this one called script, but in the bold. So this is, so this app is called Wattpad. You can change it to like whatever name, but I think that would be kind of complicated unless you memorize each name. So I could name it NC if I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave the name Wattpad. So what I'm going to do is just type in Wattpad. Now where it says add to home screen, you guys are going to want to click where it says add to home screen. So where it says new shortcut or whatever, you're going to change them and name again, click Wattpad. Now where it, the green image is showing, you're going to click on that. This is what I was showing you guys earlier. You're going to choose photo. Remember when I told you you could just save the image, you can click on it and you can basically zoom in on whichever icon you use. See, like for me, this is why I like screenshotting it because look, 
it's not letting me zoom in anymore and I need to zoom in more. So what I'm going to do is go back to PixArt and I'm going to zoom in where it says Wattpad and I'm just gonna screenshot it. So after I screenshot, I'm gonna go back to Shortcuts and I'm just gonna select the screenshot that I just took. I'm going to zoom in as much as I want and I'm going to click Choose. Now it shows you a preview of what it looks like. If you wanna adjust it or anything, you can do that. So then after you change the name and the image that you want it to be, you're going to click Add. So it says it's been added to your home screen, so all you have to do is click Done, click Done again. And if you guys see right here, it's in my home screen, as you guys can see. So what I do is just click edit home screen, ch change it up. So I'm going to arrange it back over here. Oh, hold on, it's being complicated. So it says what right here, and I'm going to take the actual Wattpad app. So I'm going to click the minus sign and I'm not going to delete the app because that'll delete everything altogether. I'm gonna click where it says move to app library. So it's basically gonna disappear, but it's still on your phone. So that's the first one that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one more time. Then I'm going to speed it up and else. Now, I don't know how I'm going to arrange this one yet. I think I'm going to take my sweet 16 pictures that I just took and actually like align it up. I'm going to add the pictures of me that I took with for my sweet 16, which I still don't have those pictures yet. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys a screenshot of what it looks like because I still haven't got my sweet 16 pictures. So after that, I'm going to show you guys how I changed the app. Then after the video, you guys will probably see a screenshot of what I made the collage look like on this page. But for now, I'm just going to show you guys how to make the apps. I've already done Wattpad, so I have all these other apps to do. So I'm just going to show you guys one more time. Go to Shortcuts. So you're going to go to Shortcuts, click the Add button, Add Action, Scripting, Open App. Now the ad next app is Gmail. So you're going to click Choose, go to where it says Gmail. You're going to click the three dots, Add to Home Screen. So this is called Gmail, I'm going to name it Gmail. I'm going to change the picture, not again. Now again, I like, sometimes I like to go see if it would, if it'll work, but as you can see here, like it's not letting me, that's why I just like to take a screenshot. Oh, where did it go? Okay, here it is. So I'm going to zoom in on the app, screenshot it, go back. Click the screenshot that I just added, and I'm basically gonna make that picture. Click choose, and there's the Gmail app. Now you can make, now I actually wanna make this one bigger. Um, choose photo again. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna click add. It says add it to home screen, click done. Now here's Gmail, so I'm just gonna select that, edit home screen. Move that right here. Move the actual Gmail app to my app library, and there you go. So I'm going to go do that with the rest of my apps. Okay guys, so I'm done. So as you can see, I finished the last page. So this is what everything looks like. I really like it. To be honest, I didn't try as hard with this slide than my other two slides, but it's fine, it still looks good. So I don't know what collage I'm gonna add to this page. I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video. I think I'm going to put my sweet 16 pictures on this page, but again, I haven't gotten them yet, so when I get them, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But for now, this is what everything looks like, and this is how it works. Click Spotify, takes you to Spotify. YouTube takes you to YouTube. Musi takes you to Musi. And it's a little annoying how it goes to the shortcut screen first, but it doesn't bother me. So this is what everything looks like. I hope you guys found this tutorial really, really helpful. Let me know if you guys do this yourself. I'll show you guys what everything looks like towards the end of the video when I get my Sweet 16 pictures. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!